Hello everyone, and welcome to another StarCraft 2. two or StarCraft? What was I trying to say there? We'll stick with StarCraft 2. StarCraft 10? I was doing, it's definitely starting like a TE sort of word. Ah, what a perfect intro. Fifth game, Battle.net's not finding any games for me, so kind of balances it all though. Alright, so it's going to be a live cast, uh, Masters League, Terran Opponents, Cloud Kingdom. Let's roll! So I got this idea for Heart of the Swarm, right? Like if I do my typical TBT build, like I do here, where um, you know I get my PF expansion and then I go straight to Bow Cruiser, right? And then I kind of survive by Yamatoing the siege tanks. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. I was thinking. Not enough minerals. I could probably do the Not same thing with Ravens minerals. now. Because the buff they gave to Ravens recently is that they only cost 75 energy. So once I get the energy upgrade, I can cast immediately as soon as Ravens made. It's basically, it's super cheap now. But the downside is it takes five seconds to like launch the thing. But against siege tanks, that should still work because siege tanks can't really move that fast once they're sieged. So I can do the same thing, kind of hold off with the. Uh, Seeker Missile. The nice thing about Seeker Missile is when I'm Seekering the tanks, it'll take more than one Seeker to kill a tank, but at the same time, it'll be blowing up other stuff around it. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it's probably gotten about to that time where I should start switching to Heart of the Swarm. I don't think if it's it's as good of a game as Wings of Liberty, at least right now, but it's the future, and I'm sure it will get better. Not enough minerals. Uh, seeing as it's just in its infancy, or not even really, it's more in its like beta stage since it hasn't actually been released yet. It's a very technical term there. All right, so I my 14 proxy racks. I can go right into this right away and still afford the orbital once it finishes. Ready. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Go ahead. Yeah, whatever. Gangway coming through. Been waiting on you. Complete. Our SCVs are under attack. I'm gonna go right into expansion, send this in. Big job, huh? Ah, I think it's dead. Our SCVs are Let's get the expansion attack. down. Will do. Huh? Not enough minerals. Does it look like once I see a wall off, I assume he's one basing? And I think that's usually a pretty good assumption. That's just a bunch of barracks. Bad news. Go ahead. SCB ready. Just hang out here. Marines back. Go, go, go. What's going on? Base is under attack. Yeah, 
you have to set up right away. And it looks like another structure, right? So he's got... Oh no, he moved that one, so... I don't know. He could be expanding behind this, but it's a pretty late expansion. I don't think he was going for... Insufficient Vespine gas. Uh, factory. I'm pretty sure I saw two barracks to start. If I saw that wrong, though, and he drops me, I'm not going to be too happy with myself. It's definitely two barracks. That could be a factory. Maybe he's going into drop play. Those slowly guys hurt rank. So I'm feeling pretty happy with how safe my front is right now. We're going to push. One SCV over here for auto repair. He might be dropping. Big job, huh? I feel like he, he's just went really heavy bio, so I'm just gonna overdo it on the turrets a bit. So I got the armor upgrade. I think I should be okay. I think I should have a banshee. I'm already celebrating my own escape there.
Research upgrade complete. SCV ready. Ah, you scared me. SCV ready. SCV ready. Big job. Uh -huh. SCV ready. I can probably add another starport. Alright, so let's pick up some guys here. Just hope he doesn't have vision of this. Ah! I thought those guys are in auto repair, what the hell? These guys over here. They're in auto repair and they weren't repairing it. That's nice. Additional supply depots required. Upgrade complete. I need missile turrets here. Will do. Move it. It's your time. Yes, sir. Gotcha. SCV ready. Mineral who called in the fleet? Missile turrets now. No more starports. SCV ready. Overtime. SCV ready. I'm on it. Upgrade complete. 
Yes, Commander. SCV ready. Bad news. Base is under attack. Not working out well for him. Mineral field depleted. You healed? Unacceptable landing zone. Yes, Commander. Will do. What's going on? Yeah. Mineral field depleted. Sure thing. SCV ready. All right. So this guy's looking pretty dead, I think. I think he was behind economically from the start. And he's just kind of throwing away a lot of units that didn't do anything but, you know, just pitter patter on a PF. Yo, ready to blunder. Too many on those. Setting in Vikings, I ain't sure if I need them. Upgrade complete. On the Raven upgrades too. In the rear with the gear. We hear you. Add on upgrade complete. Patching you through. Mineral field depleted. Bad news. Yep. Roger. Ready to blunder. Ah, you scared me. Yes, sir. Minerals. Oh, really? Of course, lady. What is it? Well, ready to blunder. Upgrade complete. Depleted. Start adding in ravens now. Big job, huh? Who called in the fleet? Okay. Our SCVs are under attack. Mineral field depleted. We hear you. In the rear with the gear. Yeah. You healed? Go ahead. Vesting geyser exhausted. Yes, 
in the visor exhausted. Upgrade complete. Base is under attack. You got the better seeker missiles, so I'll give him that. Made for battle. I think I could have got that. Uh, I don't think so. I think your army was much, much smaller, seeing as it was mostly marines. Replay saved. Plus it didn't matter, because I had a ton in the bank. See if there's anything to analyze here. Wow. I know he's trying to insult me, but... If that's what he thinks is a good response to going Valkruiser... <laughs> you know, everyone else kind of does the same thing every game too, right? They just do Marine Tank. I do battle cruiser. <laughs> Steven's lost half of this game for probably pretty funny. So sacrifice everything, gotta cut down a few SCVs maybe. Uh, this is a zero zero timing too. So, by the way, like these marines, with no upgrades, they're doing six damage per attack. This has five armor, which means these marines are actually doing one damage per attack. <laughs> Thought he was going mass bio. He at least get like a one one upgrades. Only making one inch anybody too. Oh, there's the second one. Never mind. Oh, he's one one now. Zero. There's the one one coming. Still, we're 17 minutes in the game. It isn't one one yet. Okay. Just to verify, all these guys are on auto repair. So WTF? This thing flew right over your head, you guys. Get with the game. Kind of ninja this expansion fairly early. You can mix Hellions into this build if you can find the money for it. Uh, usually, like around this point, I'd say once you got your fourth base up, like even still building two command centers at a time, you should be floating minerals because this is the point where you're spending 400, 300 on battle cruisers a lot, and uh, upgrades are also very gas heavy. So you got. Lots of gas heavy things happening at this point in the game, which means you should be flowing some minerals. Uh, so you can always float this factory somewhere interesting, like over here, or probably even better over here. And then just kind of work up little groups of Hellions and send them out on runs to find bases like this. <laughs> bases with orbitals you can definitely take down. Even if it was a planetary, just kind of queue them up over here, then shift-click off two of them and move the other two over here. 
you know, so just so you have them on hold position in these two spots. Soul Star down, shuts down the mining. I didn't explain that well, but I think you get the idea. Just shift click them into the base where they don't run by the run range of the PF, and then shift hold position. So they're sitting behind the mineral lines with on hold position. And in multiple points, so like here and here, just so I can shut down the entire mining operation. So he's trying to take the entire map now. While I'm like slowly turtle expanding, we'll say. <laughs> I would take a stop and look at the upgrades here. I'm uh, three two with three three on the way. He is same thing. Two three with uh, last armor upgrade on the way. So he caught up on his uh, bio upgrades. A bio upgrade should always be ahead because you get an engineering bay long before you can get an armory. Plus, it. Um, it gels a lot better going upgrades with marines because bio is really mineral intensive and then the upgrades are really gas intensive so it kind of works out well where I'm going mass battle cruiser like since both the battle cruisers and the upgrades are gas intensive I have to sacrifice one to get the other and then end up with a bit of a mineral bank didn't know where his army was so that's just to come in snipe Yamato and immediately shift Q back to my here. I probably should have come and killed this base because I didn't know where his army was and it happens to be right here. I thought I had SCVs following this stuff. Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's take it all of my Bowkers. This is why I thought he could win the fight. I guess this is the hockey he said he didn't have set up right. He wanted to, like, this stuff came in too late. But it didn't really. It came in, like, almost immediately afterwards. That's his entire army, so. I guess if they are here as touch earlier, it would have been better. But I still have some SCVs to repair with. But what he probably didn't know is that I had all this in the background, and I also had a gigantic bank. Although he's got a bit of a bank himself. I can also drop these on the ground if the fight was actually looking close. Made all these orbitals and never actually used them, so <laughs> mass repair. Um, the other thing to look at, obviously, is is not just um, how the art, how the battle went, but look look at the economy situation. I'm on one, two, three. Well, I'm on one, two, three, four mining bases, and he's on one mining base. And my mining mining bases are heavily protected, so that advantage as well. Gotta love the static defense. And when it comes to end game, the only real resource that matters is supply. And here we get a big honking turret for zero supply. So that's pretty cool. It's like free defense. You have like three tanks cluster right here as if like a one out all is hurt up against them. It's kind of a bit of a glitch in the game where um I need to find a sieged up tank. So this tank is in like this position, but when it's sieged up, it actually takes up like a bit of the hex, like takes up a little bit of space around it as well. But the auto turret, when you, the Raven doesn't know it takes up that space. So for instance, if you try to lay an auto turret like right here, it'll let you do it. I mean, it'll, it'll light up green, it'll say you can do it there, but once Raven floats over and tries to place it there, then the siege tank's in the way. So it, the siege tank kind of takes up this extra space but it's not really recognized by 
um, like by structure placement, I guess. It doesn't recognize that that hex is, is, is being covered, but everything else knows it's being covered. You can't, like, it becomes, it does end up blocking that space. They're nice thing about tanks is when they do that, since they be, they become bigger and more, more solid when they uh, turn into siege tanks. So you can, like, fill chokes that you wouldn't be able to normally. Like, I bet you, like, this area right here, if you put a tank there, Zerglings can probably run by, but if you put a siege tank right where I'm highlighting, Right, right, right in here. I'm, it's up that catch rock thing. I don't want it to. There we go. But put a siege tank right up here. Um, once it's sieged up, it probably blocks that hole. So if you ever want to like protect a choke uh, against something, probably like speedling is the one thing you want. It would be good against to block a choke. Just put like a siege tank somewhere and put some repairing SCVs behind it. And then hopefully whatever crap you have behind the siege tank can kill whatever is trying to flood in. So all this talk about what's the magic number of harvester count. For myself, I actually like being up around a hundred harvesters. And stay at a hundred until I get all the bases I want. I basically I just stay at a hundred. I get all the bases I use that extra money to get the like even when I maxed out. Okay, let me digress. <laughs> The typical train of thought is, you know, you get up to like a high work account, and then you max out on your army, and then you start adding in orbit more orbital commands, and then you start throwing away your SCVs and using mules to mine instead. And the advantage to that is you can get to, you know you can drop your harvester count by like 40 supply, which means you can make your army 40 supply bigger. But what I like to do is just set up like keep my arm uh, harvester supply at like 100, so my army supply is only 100 as well. And then really fortify, like set bases and really fortify them, like missile turrets and stuff. So even though my opponent might have a bigger army, as long as we're defending on my defensive ground, so like my 100 supply army um, with PFs and missile turrets versus his 150 supply army, you know, having to tack into that, um, I can hold that. And then the advantage of having that extra 100 supply is, um, you know, I can set up all the, like, all the bases I want with all the de defense I want. Uh, then I can add in all the star ports I need to, to rebuild quickly if, if a battle goes poorly or if a battle goes evenly, just to be able to remax. Then I can add in all these macro orbital commands. But I don't get the macro orbitals to to sack SCVs. What I actually do is I just keep, I use them to long distance mine his bases with mules. So for instance, here I might throw down like tons of mules in this base and just let them distance mine. And that way, in a starve out battle, um, I'm way ahead. I got my SCVs mining out my side of the map. I got my mules mining out his side of the map. And as long as I'm even in base count, uh, it's I'll probably win the. Should, I just should win the uh, starve out battle. And definitely, if I have more bases than him, which I was probably going to, because I'm sure I was going to take this base soon. I was just building um, these command centers. I was going to build here. We're going to float down to this base. And with that, I better get going, because there's a call coming in. Thank you everyone, and goodbye.